Hi there YouTube friends, welcome back to Auntie A's Kitchen and today we're going to be making a popular British classic prawn cocktail and we're going to be making it and serving it in three different ways. In the first part of the video, a traditional prawn cocktail with a Mary Rose sauce. In the second part of the video, some garlic prawns with a Mary Rose crunchy salad served in a lettuce leaf. And in the third part, we're going to spice up with some Cajun flavours and crunchy prawns. I'm interested to know which is going to be your favourite, so let's get started. For a classic Mary Rose sauce, mix together some mayonnaise and ketchup. I use zero sugar ketchup as I don't want it too sweet and I don't measure out the mayonnaise or ketchup. I just add until I've got the pink color that I'd like. To this, then you want to add a splash of Worcestershire sauce, some lemon juice, and don't forget to season with salt and pepper and always have a taste of your sauces so that you know where they're at. Now in my family we like a little bit of heat so I'm going to add some horseradish, you could also add some Tabasco sauce and as you see in the video, special occasions, I like to add just a little touch of whiskey and this brings a wonderful background flavour. The last thing to add is a little bit of cayenne pepper to add to the heat and also I like the specks in the sauce and the wonderful thing about this is that you can make it ahead of time and then keep it in your refrigerator until you're ready to use. Next we're going to prepare a simple salad and I like to add some cucumbers and tomatoes for both texture and colour. I cut up some baby tomatoes but you could leave them whole and I like to peel my cucumber but again you don't have to peel this just make the salad how you like it. You see in the video that I'll chop up a spring onion and I'm going to use this for garnish and finally the lettuce. You want your lettuce to be crunchy and for today I'm going to be using a baby romaine as well as some iceberg lettuce. This next part's an optional extra but for me it's not a prawn cocktail unless you serve it with some bread and butter and it has to be whole grain bread and make sure to cover generously with butter. Let me know if you agree butter is flavour. I would normally do all of the prep ahead of time, then just before serving, I put this together. And you want your prawn cocktail to be served in a glass. It's wonderful to be able to see all of the ingredients. And I start with the drizzle of dressing at the bottom, and then I'll place my lettuce and salad, and always make sure that you season your salad well with salt and pepper. Next, we're going to add a generous amount of the star of the show, the prawns. And I'm using a mixture of pre-cooked small and medium prawns that I've defrosted overnight. Next, cover your prawns with a lavish amount of a delicious Mary Rose sauce, making sure to drizzle some sauce down the sides of the glass so that all the prawns get covered. To finish off our prawn cocktail, I hang two larger prawns on the side of the glass that I've quickly boiled up for a couple of minutes in some water, then finish with a slice of lemon, a sprinkling of some paprika, our bread and butter, and then a garnish of those spring onions. So here we have a British classic prawn cocktail, perfect for Thanksgiving, Christmas, or any special occasion. For a second prawn cocktail appetizer contender, we're going to start by making some crispy croutons. Cut up some bread, splash on some oil and then spread them out on your baking tray and then place them into a hot oven 200C until they're golden brown and about halfway through after 10 minutes, I normally turn them over so that they get an even cook. Roughly chop up some red onion and then we're going to put two spoons of this into our sauce. Now the sauce you see, I've not remade, this is just some leftover from our first prawn cocktail. This is a really flexible recipe and you'll see that I don't measure out any of the ingredients. It just depends on how many prawn cocktails I'm making. And for today, just to show you, I'm making one and I want the sauce to be really chunky. So I'm going to fill it with lots of vegetables. Next, we're going to roughly chop up two baby tomatoes. And I like using the small tomatoes because they're not so watery. Finally, we're going to cut and chop up half an avocado. Normally when making guacamole, I choose more of a soft avocado, but for today we want more of firm avocado so that it has a little bit of a bite to it. Chop it up, cover with some lemon juice to stop it going brown, and then make sure to season well with some salt and pepper. Then go ahead and add your avocado into your sauce, and you see in the video I'm trying not to add any extra lemon juice into the sauce. Give it a quick mix before then adding the tomatoes, a final mix, and then you can cover this, put it in your refrigerator until you're ready to use. The prawns are very easy and very quick to cook, so into a pan add some oil, butter and some garlic. Let the garlic cook in your pan for a couple of minutes before then adding some red pepper flakes. Let this cook for a couple of minutes and then add your prawns to the pan. As always, this is a flexible recipe, so feel free to use any type of prawns that you like. I believe these are king prawns that I've left defrosting overnight. Let them sit in your garlic butter for a couple of minutes, add some lemon juice to the pan before turning them over. And as you can see in the video, these really don't take long to cook at all. Place them onto a plate, take your pan off the heat, and we're going to be using some of this garlic butter later. The assembly of this prawn cocktail couldn't be any easier. You're going to double layer some baby romaine lettuce leaves, and this is just going to make it a little bit more sturdy for people that want to be able to pick this up. Then place a generous amount of your crunchy salad in each of the leaves. Onto this, place your delicious garlic prawns and place as many as you can fit into the lettuce leaf, and then top this with some of your crunchy croutons. Next, you want to drizzle over some of that liquid gold that was left over in the pan, not only to maximize in flavor, but we don't want to waste anything. 
Finish off with some parsley and some ground black pepper. And here we have my modern take on a classic prawn cocktail. And this one out of all of them is my favorite. Now is all you have to decide. Are you gonna eat them with your hand or with a knife and fork? Okay, onto our final prawn cocktail contender. And if you like spicy Cajun flavors and crispy, crunchy prawns, then this prawn cocktail might just tick all the right boxes for you. We'll start by making a quick side dish, some crunchy garlic bread, and it's really easy to make. Just place some homemade garlic herb butter on both sides of a baguette, cut into slices, and then place this into a hot oven until nice and golden. Next, we're going to roughly cut up one large gherkin, and it goes without saying, if you're making this for more people, then you're going to need to cut up a few more. We're going to need to make another Mary Rose sauce, which is also sometimes called prawn sauce or pink sauce. Traditionally, this is made with ketchup mayonnaise, Worcestershire sauce, lemon juice, and some pepper. And in some old cookbooks, instead of ketchup, some tomato paste is used with a little bit of sugar added to counter the bitterness. But for today, keeping with the Cajun twist, once the foundation of your Mary Rose sauce is made, you'll want to also add a good amount of your favorite hot sauce to it. Once everything is mixed and you've had a taste, you can go ahead then and add your cut up onions and gherkins. Give everything a good mix, and then the final thing to do is to add a little bit more cayenne pepper for heat. If you don't want any more heat, then add some paprika. And as for me personally, as I've already mentioned, I do like to see the specks of red in a Mary Rose sauce. When it's finished, just like we did with the other sauces, pop it into your refrigerator. And that's one of the things I love about these prawn cocktail appetizers, is that you can make a lot of the things ahead of time. And you see in the video here, I just made two quick little flowers out of a tomato, and we're going to be using that for decoration later. Next place, a tablespoon of some Cajun seasoning over your prawns. And actually the next shorts video that I post will be my Cajun seasoning recipe. To this, add your whisk egg and then give everything a good mix. Ideally, you want this to marinate in your refrigerator for a couple of hours, but for today, I'm gonna to be cooking with it straight away. For our dry station, add some flour, some more Cajun seasoning, and I like to add some baking powder to add to the crispiness. Then give this a good mix. Drip off any excess egg mixture, then place all of your prawns into your flour. Depending on how many prawns that you're making, you might need to do this in two batches. And then with a spoon, I just make sure that all the prawns are completely and totally covered in the flour mixture. Shake off any extra flour, then place them onto a plate. And if you haven't already, put some neutral oil into a pan and get this heating up. You've seen me do this a million times on the channel to see if your oil's ready. You can either put in a little bit of flour to see if it sizzles, or I like to place a wooden spoon to see if there's bubbles around. When your oil is up to temperature, place in your prawns away from you as you don't want to get hit with any of the fat. These aren't gonna take very long to cook, just a few minutes on each side and make sure to turn them over. Then when they're golden brown, remove them from the pan. When you remove your prawns, place them onto some kitchen towel or a wire rack because you want to drain off any excess oil and don't forget to hit them with some salt straight away. For this prawn cocktail, I like to serve the Mary Rose sauce on the side so it's easy to dip the prawns in, or people can choose to pour the sauce over their salad, whatever they'd prefer. Because the prawns are crunchy, we're gonna serve a dart leaf salad with some avocado drizzled with lemon juice, and of course, the salad season. Add your crispy fried prawns to the salad tail up so that it's easy for people to grab. And I didn't mention it earlier, but I'm using frozen tiger prawns that I defrosted overnight and then de-shelled just before soaking them. Add your tomatoes in the middle for a little bit of decoration and don't forget your side order of garlic bread. To finish off, a little sprinkling of paprika over our Mary Rose sauce, a slice of lemon to be able to squeeze over the prawns and some parsley and we're ready to feast. So there you have it, prawn cocktails served in three different ways, traditional, my upgraded, modern day version and then Cajun inspired flavors, crispy prawns. So please let me know in the comments which one would be your favorite. Thank you so much for watching. Cook's Privilege now. I'm going to enjoy this crispy prawn before my family come in and devour this. And if you haven't already, may I ask that you please hit that like button. Consider subscribing for more simple and delicious recipes. Until the next video, God bless.